I'm actually at my most relaxed right before a game. It's more the week leading up to it. When I actually get to the game, all I want to do, I want to just get out, get out, do my warm. I want to get out on the pitch. I want to see the pitch, I want to feel the conditions, the weather, the ball, you know, how, how my goal mouth is, 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 you know, all these kind of things I want to, that I just want to get out and do that. And then when I come back in to get changed, to go out to the game, that's, because I come in early, I come in half an hour before the game, so I've got nobody in the dressing room I've, and I can just relax, no music blaring, no nothing, just, just get get my, my my clothes on and and I'm I'm pretty relaxed in that in that moment, but the week leading up to that's you know intense hard work, um, and uh, you know, you're working on details regarding who you're coming up against. You know all the training's filmed, so I'll go back every evening. I'll watch the, the day's training session. I'll look for little details, and you know I've got constant evolving goals and things I want to keep improving on, keep things I want to change. And I'll keep watching and analysing how how that's progressing, and see if it's something that's working for me or not. If it's not, then I'll you know I'll toss it to one side and then move on to the next. But I spend spend a lot of time. I spent when I was younger even more time studying other keepers as well, learning different things, seeing if if they do something that I can use in my in my own uh, goalkeeping. And I enjoy watching others, seeing how they move, seeing how they catch and how they dive, how they you know, set off and all these kind of things. Look at their body language and, and their, their communication with their defenders. All these kind of things are, are, are really, really important because you're, you know, as a, as a goalkeeper, you, you, you have a different perspective on the game because you're, you're the last man. You, so you can see the pitch, the whole pitch in a different way. You're not in the thick of the action. Sometimes when you're in the thick of the action, you, you can get you know, you can wrap, wrapped up in the emotion of the game and you can't maybe keep a clear head as a keeper. It's your job to keep a clean, clear head. And you're essentially a coach, a manager in that situation because you're guiding. The, the games that are the best are the ones where you don't have a lot to do because that's when you've got your de defense working and, and everything's just working really well. So I, for me, that's a more successful game when I don't have anything to do. That's a much more successful game than one if I'm making saves left, right and center because then obviously there's something wrong with, 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 the, with the communication. So you've, you've, got to be a, you've got to be a manager in, in that sense because you've got different people in front of you, different personalities, and you've got, to, you've got to know how to talk to people. So I know that with Danny Simpson, I can say one thing. With Wes, I say another thing. With Harry or Robert Hooth, I say a third thing. With Ben Chilwell or Christian Fuchs, you know, I, I speak to them all in different ways, and that comes with learning their personalities through the years, playing with them, of being off the pitch with them, what type of people they are, how can I say, because you've got a very short time to get your message across. So some people can take, you know, where you say it very hard and very forthright. And some people, you know, need an arm around their shoulder and we need more encouragement. Some people need you to actually provoke them, you know, get at them a little bit and to, to try and provoke a reaction. So you've got to know how to speak to each individual player in front of you uh, to get the best out of them and um, manage that whole back line. Training is a lot harder than, than, than the actual game physically, but mentally that, it, that is the, the time where after a game, you know, your head's pounding, your head's buzzing. And, and it, it does take a long time afterwards to get to sleep. For example, I can't, after a game, I, you know, I won't sleep till three or four in the morning, you know, because I just, I just can't find peace in my body so uh, so yeah that kind of that aspect of it is is obviously uh, it takes its toll 